Hello and welcome back to another Monster High video. I'm Carly and today we are taking a look at Abby Abominable from the Art Class Collection. I'm actually pretty stoked to review this doll because if you watch the Mommy and Gracie show, this doll is better known as Chainsaw Abby and I think that is super super cool. I First of all, I just love Abby because she's got such a no-nonsense attitude but the fact that she's now wielding a chainsaw just makes it even better. So let's go ahead and look at all of her box accessories. She comes with a black doll stand and a matching black hairbrush, nothing super interesting to see here. And she comes with her art project. And this is an ice sculpture of Heath Burns, and since they're kind of an item, she has him encased in a heart with burning flames made out of ice. I know, doesn't make much sense, but you gotta think about double negatives here. You can also see that there's a whole bunch of these little snowflakes that are carved in here too. She's just really good with a chainsaw. She also comes with her own little diary. This looks kind of like a composition notebook one, except it's iced over. This is what the back looks like, so there's some more ice. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. Like always, feel free to pause and read at any time, it won't bother me any. So the first page is just an overview of what the class is, and we've got a bit of that fun personalized paper in there, which I really love. So the next few pages are basically little sketches from her and her thoughts going through the class. She seems pretty dubious about this entire thing first off, but I mean, she's willing to try. So here's some more of that personalized paper, which I really like, and then there's a really, really cute picture of Heath in there, although I really do like her first idea for her art project. I, I totally would have paid to see 50 tons of icebox turned into a dragon attacking a herd of yaks. That is so cool. On the next page, we have a sketch of said art project. I mean, look at that. That is so freaking awesome! And next page, we have some doodles of Heath. She's actually quite a good artist. She captures his life pretty dang well. And so her art teacher is trying to make her use an ice pick and a hammer. It doesn't seem to be working too much. So let's move on to the next page and boom, she can use her chainsaw. And there's a picture of her final result. It looks really, really great. Hooray for Chainsaw Abby. Abby's hair looks like it would be normal, just the platinum you see here and then these little bits of sparkly tinsel, but if you go ahead and look along over here, what is normally her underlayers is on the top, so you've got the blue streak, the pink streak, and the purple streak, and they're not in the correct order this time around. As for her makeup, she is just sticking with some blue eyeshadow, there's a bit of a darker blue right there on the upper crease, but the rest is this kind of lighter blue, and she's got kind of this pinky red lip going on. As for accessories, she just has this crazy goggle mask thing that has little tusks right there. That is super cool. And a skelet is just this nice neon clear pink. And she's got these translucent blue earrings, which is really surprising because normally she has ice crystals, but it's really fun seeing her in skelets. It's kind of different. She's also got this crazy blocky belt with a whole bunch of these ice blocks and icicles. And of course, who can forget the chainsaw. This thing is so cool. It's covered with icicles, it's blue, it's got snowflakes on it. It's just rad all around and there's a little bit of a Monster High logo going on here. Her outfit is typical Abby garb. We've got some fur going on here but this stuff is blue and it's just really really soft. It's not like the fine fur that you normally get. It's kind of more clumped together kind of like a woolly sheep or a woolly cow. But she's got this kind of icicle design going on with blue and pink and little bits of purple here and there. And then as for her shoes, they are super cool. They are iced out. We've got some icicles up top. We've got all these laces and then icicles for the heel. Before wrapping up, let's take a quick second to look at Abby's freaky flaws. She is the daughter of the Yeti, so she's got this crazy complexion. It's the sparkly, glittery blue. And she's also got these crazy tusks. She has a little bit of point to her ears and she's got some serious looking claws. I mean, look at those bad boys. All right, and that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like my video on Abby Abominable from the Art Class Collection, please let me know down in the comments below with a like or even by subscribing. And never forget to be yourself, be unique, and be a monster. Now you can watch another one of my Monster High videos, or you can watch one of my friend's videos. Our pictures are always in the corner, like these four examples.